Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you the projects I made for the collab embellishments on the 11th. This is hosted by my friend Deb who is Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. And on the 11th of each month we share some embellishments that we've made using items from our stash. So along with this I am doing a swap with Kim who's also part of this collaboration. We are um, doing sections of three months at a, at a time, making embellishments, and then at the end of three months we will swap what we've made with each other. And we've kind of loosely come up with themes for each quarter. Um, this quarter, I think it was colors like pink, yellow, green, and then next quarter it's um, flowers and something else. But anyway, we can basically make what we want, but we're trying to gear it towards um, some color themes or some seasonal or holiday themes um, for our stash. <coughs> so um, just like last year, I've been making mine in sets of three package and then packaging them up. And so this time I made four um, flower embell embellishments and packaged them up uh, just like this. And then let me talk about the third one uh, a little more specifically. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm catching a spring cold. So anyway, on the bag topper, um, these are just some packaging that I've saved from different things. But on the topper, I just used one of the pearlized doilies from Stampin' Up! just folded it over and I'll probably do some embellishing on here before I mail it off to Kim a little bit later this month but so for each of my embellishments I used one of the pearlized doilies and then from a scallop punch I punched out a green I think it's granny apple green piece of cardstock and then I just dug into my stash of little tiny flowers and leaves and things that I could use to help build a little cluster so um, I put some brads in the centers of these flowers these are little flower brads these are just yellow centers this is a embellishment from Stampin' Up from their in colors that are going to be retiring this spring. These are some little leaves that I've had in my stash. I'm not sure where I, where they came from. These might be from Jolie's. These I ordered online a long time ago. And then the other two, these are Jolie's stickers. They came as um, three large tulips and six smaller tulips and then I just used them all up on on these embellishments. And then in my stash I had some little pre-tied white satin ribbon bows and when I ran out of the white because I didn't have too many left I used these little pearl bows from my stash. And then I just placed them on some cardstock. These might be stuck together. Yep, but I placed them on with a removable restickable tab. So um, Kim can easily get it off the background paper and then this will peel off itself and then she can use this again if she'd like to. So um, I purchased these on Amazon so you might want to check those out. I believe they are 3M. Let me show you let me show you the picture. Well this is something similar from Scotch I guess. Uh, well 3M. Uh, only these are circles, but these are the Scotch restickable mini tabs, and you can reuse them again and again. And they're just like a little half inch, half inch square. And then these are circles that are seven eighths of an inch. And when I use these, I'll probably end up cutting them in, into halves or into fourths. But anyway, that's um, that's what I have for my embellishments this month. 
and like I said, I'll be going back to January, February, and March and sending off um, a package of each of the embellishments that I made to Kim so that she can use them for her future crafting. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. If I didn't mention it already, I'll leave a link down below to all the participants in this collaboration. And thank you for joining me. And now I'm off to create.